Hi there, this video is sponsored by SASE, a growing community of peers that are at the intersection of automation and software engineering. More on that later. Hey everyone, today we're doing something completely different to what you're used to. Today, we're not gonna have so much educational content, rather, we're gonna have a little more of entertainment content. We are jumping on board the hype train, uh, the AI hype train, brr, brr, you know, yeah, that's not exactly how a train sounds like. What I want to do today is to show what does AI think controls engineering look like. Actually, I haven't looked at it yet, so I have no idea. But uh, I know that there are AI generators that create images based on a description. And I have found two that are for free. And I thought I'm going to use both of them today to kind of compare them a little bit against each other and just ask them the AI image generator to do some pictures for us based on certain descriptions that we're just going to make up here on the fly. The two ones I'm going to use are the first one is Microsoft Bing image creator, which is for free. The only thing I had to do was basically log in with my Microsoft account. And the other one is this Leonardo AI image generation. Uh, I had to register an account. There's a limitation on how much you can do for free. So in this case, you get like 150 tickets or points, whatever it's called, and you can use it to generate a certain amount of images. And, um, you know, if you want to use the pro features, there's some pro features to photo reel, for example, then you have to pay for it. But I thought for today, I'm just going to use the free one. So I thought, let's have a little bit of fun. <laughs> I'll start with something light. A uh, controls engineer has spent his last money on a TIA portal <laughs> license. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And he has at the same time realized that it means he won't be able to afford food and his wife and kids will be very grumpy at him. That's something that all of us PLC programmers have encountered right those those plc license costs they are just driving us mad or at least very poor so let's do create okay <laughs> yeah that looks, <laughs> looks okay i don't know where this i don't <laughs> i don't know where the skeleton came from um i don't know whether that means like death now you bought a tia portal license now your family is gonna die because they're gonna starve or oh no this yeah this guy yeah he looks very very sad oh that's two very sad children oh she looks a little scary but i guess i mean if i was very hungry i would be quite scary too but at least he got the tia portal license right let's see here what more we got his guy <laughs> this guy is uh... oh okay that's apparently tia portal all right money and yeah he's probably looking at the costs for the license the family behind are just starving oh this this child looks like something i mean i could make a horror movie out of this let's take the same console oops what happened there okay let's write a similar question in uh, here so i'm just gonna repeat the question okay so let's see how leonardo interprets this how the generative ai will create this. Uh, I should mention that there are a couple of things you can do here. So you can actually choose how many images you want to generate, the resolution of the images, and depending on which settings you choose, there's a different cost. So, <laughs> okay, the, the wife and children didn't fit. Maybe Leonardo thought it, it's too... Yeah, but I, I think that's that's quite a good representation of how you look like when you, when you have to buy a software license to program a PLC. Right? Because, you know, if you're anyway going to buy the hardware from the PLC vendor and now you have to buy a license to program their hardware, then this is the face I would definitely have. I think uh, we go to another one. Okay, let's do something more politically correct. Uh, maybe something vanilla. Uh, a cleanly wired control cabinet. Right. You could, for example, use if you have a website and you want to show off how nice you wire your control cabinet. Oh, that's beautiful, actually. Uh, that looks good. I don't see... I'm not a control cabinet builder. This doesn't look super realistic, but I like w cleanliness. You know, when you have cable ties and everything is in the same color, color coordinated. And um, actually, let's try Leonardo. Okay. I mean, this looks a little more dark and dystopian compared to the way Bing interpreted it. This just looks a little more... Mm, you know, I'm coming here from 
uh, I don't know, Soviet Union, um, or yeah, something like this from the 80s. It's just more old school style. That wasn't as fun as the other one. I think we'll go back to the less politically correct generations instead. Uh, okay, okay, let's see here. A PLC programmer sitting on a rubber tire while troubleshooting a broken... Uh, a troubleshooting, a troubleshooting, debugging a program sitting on a rubber tire. We've all done that, right? <laughs> While the factory is stopped and his boss is yelling at him and making him feel sad and stressed. Um, I mean, I have to make something that we can all relate to. Yeah, I think that's actually quite a good representation of our daily lives. I mean, I... <laughs> the clothes maybe not so much usually it's kind of like yeah, maybe not sitting in underwear but uh, not this fancy clothes um oh, this yeah this wasn't very good that was a better this is a good representation uh, i think this is what we all talk about when we're mentioning that the factory is down at three o'clock in the night in the night and we have to troubleshoot not something we don't have to do if you do test driven development by the way and uh, we yeah and the, the, the tire that's a good representation of the nice comfy chairs we have everything that we gave up going from it with our nice comfy uh, office chairs going to ot now we get uh, rubber tires and alike uh, I think this guy actually looks quite familiar to one guy <laughs> that a boss uh, I had once many, many years ago. Uh, his facial expression included in that as well, of course. So, yeah, that's quite good. Let's see if we can take the same question and move it over to Leonardo. Ardo. Uh, now I don't see the PLC programmer here. I don't see the, the cabling, the panic, and just two angry guys sitting at rubber tires. This wasn't as good. I mean, I kind of feel like the Leonardo gen generated images are, you know, they look a little more, yeah, they, they look nicer in a way. Uh, actually, ah, no, I take that back. Look at this guy's face. It just looks like a horror movie. Oh, scary. <laughs> okay, next one. Oh my God, this was really, really fun. Okay, next one, next one. Uh, uh Controls engineer, um, a controls engineer, it has to start with controls engineer, uh, da, 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 is trying out version control for the first time and realizing what an awesome thing it is. Everyone use do version control, don't skip on that. Let's see how it looks like. <laughs> I, I, actually, I, I think this guy is quite a good representation of how I looked like when I tried version control for the first time, like in the in the 90s. Um, not Git. Back then I used something called CVS, which isn't very popular anymore. Kind of like the predecessor to Subversion. And after Subversion, then kind of Git became a thing. But I, I'm pretty sure that's how I looked like when I realized what a stupid idea is to copy paste folders, zip them and maintain that. And instead use a real version control system what benefits it is i think this is a good representation the control engineer part of it though is mm, i don't know yeah i mean it's it's probably a nice scada system to run some yeah in the background you can actually see the factory he's running and he probably realized oh what a lucky guy i am that used version control so i could get back to an earlier version of the software that's working and i think this is a good representation let's try leonardo and do the same thing Okay, this one wasn't as happy as the previous guy. This one looks... Oh, his eyes. Oh, scary. No, they, they don't look as happy. Mm, I don't like this image generator as much. At least not for controls engineering. Maybe if you make some flying space cats or something, this might look better. But I generally prefer the Bing one so far. Let's uh, continue. A few words from today's sponsor. I am here today introducing Sassy. Sassy is the Society of Automation Software Engineers. So automation software engineering is the union of two very interesting ideas. You've got industrial automation. You've got people that are ready to flip open their laptop on a trash can lid. They're working their programming PLCs. They're not going home until it runs. On the other hand, we've got software engineers. We're talking about automated testing. We're talking about object-oriented programming, revision control systems, incredible effects on the work of industrial automation. We're putting these two things together at SASE. This is the type of work that we've been doing for a long time. And so we're really eager 
together to bring together other like-minded folks uh, here at SASE. This is really about the Slack group, which is happening now. There are a ton of really interesting conversations popping off. Check it out at sassy.space. All right. Uh, uh, blah, blah. Assad, Siemens, Tia, Portal programmer that is wishing he was using Beckhoff Twinkat instead. Uh, Siemens, don't get angry at me. If anyone from Siemens watches this, don't get angry. I like your semantic AX, but Tia Portal, mm mm mm. So let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, oh, a cat. Okay, it, it kind of, it literally took the, the twinkat thing here as a cat. And yeah, but this guy, you can see, he's, he's really sad. And he probably wishes he was using Siemens back of twinkat. Maybe he's just sad about being a controls engineer. <laughs> Let's try the other one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a quite a good representation of the Siemens Tia Portal programmer I met in my life. They... Yeah, this is actually quite good. This is how it looks like after you spent a couple of thousand euros on a yearly license. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't keep it away. Sorry, sorry. Here I would say Leonardo wins, at least in terms of how it would actually look like. Because I, this thing with the cat, uh, I'm not entirely con uh, convinced, neither with this one. This one is quite good, actually. This is how it can look like, definitely. While I'm at the non-politically correct train, I'm gonna continue and uh, ask uh, a PLC programmer that is uh, sitting and troubleshooting uh, code at a factory at 3M in the night because he was using ladder diagram instead of writing automated tests. Okay. I'm gonna get a lot of comments because of this. I have a feeling about. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good representation. That's exactly how you look like if you do too much ladder. I mean, look at the, this. This is exactly how how you're gonna end up. How it ends up with no automated tests. So good luck finding the problem. And I think this one is just scary because it just looks like there's a demon there. And maybe it's the, you know, in the background. Maybe this is the demon that. The IT demon that just stands there in the darkness, you know, like a shadow asking him. It's not a real person, it's just a mental person in his mind asking him. And he's thinking, why didn't I do more automated testing? That must be it. Okay, here's one for all my Beckhoff friends. Uh, um, PLC pro programmer being angry at his development. Uh, computer because it doesn't doesn't provide a dark mode instead he get no not instead because of this he gets blinded by the screen uh, and needs to wear sunglasses back off this is for you <laughs> Yeah, I think I think this one is this one is actually quite good because it's it's basically how I feel in Twinkat 4024 and and before with the newer version of Twinkat hopefully never again but this is how it looks like in the morning with maybe there's a slight thing that's I don't have when I wake up in the morning and start to work and that is that I don't have a third arm I only have two arms but um, other than that I think this is quite an accurate representation of how it looks like working in a development environment that doesn't have the dark mode I want to take this guy as well and put it in Leonardo and see Leonardo's interpretation of this problem yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> that's quite that's quite yeah that's actually it's it's not that good because uh first of all well he's a hacker because he doesn't use a mouse so he he knows all his shortcuts and doesn't have to use a mouse because only noobs use a mouse all the real real plc programmers they only use the uh, keyboard with all the shortcuts but one thing that doesn't make any sense here is that it looks like there's a dark mode back here actually so why does he use the sunglasses doesn't make any sense Okay, a last one. Uh, a PLC programmer trying out a Rockwell Automation RS Logix 5000 for the first time in his life. No, not a PLC. Let's say a Beckhoff Twinkat PLC programmer. Let's be very specific. Not that I think that this makes any difference or that it makes 
any sense because I have a really hard time to see how this AI model has what data it would use to generate a picture, but let's just throw some stupid stuff at it now. I back off PLC programming trying out Rocco Automation Arcs 5000 for the first time in his life and realizing that he should probably be doing something something else with his life. Let's see how a guy that is thinking this looks like. <laughs> yeah, I think so. yeah, I mean, the cat of course there has to be a cat uh, but i think this one i i mean you can you can actually see on this guy that he's thinking you know maybe i should do something else with my life maybe plc programming isn't my thing and you know he's not even thinking about going back to Beckhoff or, or twinkat he's just thinking you know maybe i should start to do baking maybe maybe it would be better if if i start you know making making people happy by baking um, that's what I can see from this picture. Okay, to all newcomers to in industrial automation, this is how your life li life will look like if you don't adopt the test driven development and do automated testing. Okay, let's finish with one final one that we've all encountered. Uh, controls engineer gets electrocuted because he accidentally confused 24 volt dc with 480 volt ac uh, at the same time his his friends are laughing that's, <laughs> that's may okay maybe not something all of us have encountered but maybe a couple of us <laughs> I, don't I, I don't know i i kind of it kind of looks like all of them are laughing or maybe <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. They just—they're just laughing. Oh, you're getting electrocuted. That's so fun. <laughs> I don't know whether it's a good idea that they're touching him at the same time, though. It's oh, oh that's a good one. And but I think they're all laughing. I mean, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> this guy are just. Yeah, uh, no, I, I don't think any one of them are actually electrocuted. They are just having very fun at work. And uh, I think maybe that's a good end. And, and that's actually, this is more how life of control engineering looks like. It's just a lot of fun. And I think this is a much better way to end this video than any other of the pictures I've shown before. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, do you think that this is how your daily life looks like uh, working as a PLC uh, programmer? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and until next time, happy coding.